Hello, fellow songwriters, Trey Xavier here. If it feels like your track isn't blending well, you're having a hard time getting your top line to really sit in the mix the way that you want it to, it could be that you have an arrangement problem and not a mix one, because things that are properly arranged and orchestrated should practically mix themselves. So today I'm gonna show you how to carve out some musical space around your melody to really allow it to pop the way that it's supposed to. To show you how to do this, I've got this quick little example that I cooked up, chords and a melody. I call it tutorial type beat. So that's fine, except that it sounds really crowded. And here's why. If we take a look at the two parts together, you can see that the chords are completely on top of the melody, and that's really muddying up the waters. So here's how we're gonna fix that. You can do this with any chords, doesn't matter the style or the key or the sound or whatever. I find it works best and it's easiest to do with sort of sustained pad sounds. Today I'm just using this string patch. Okay, I've just got some basic triads going on. What we need to do is move some stuff around to create space for the melody to live in. The simplest way to do that is to just grab all the notes of the chord and move them up or down an octave. And that technically fixes the problem, but it also creates some other problems and it's extremely limiting. To do this right, the first thing that we have to do is to stop looking at these just as vertical chords like this. We wanna start thinking of them as linear, horizontal, individual voices as well, like this. For example, like here's one voice, and then here's a second one, and then here's our third voice. That gives us three individual lines, and all we're gonna to do today is manipulate what octave each one of those lines sits in to create more space in certain registers. The first thing that we're gonna try is to grab the top voice of these chords, and we're just gonna bump it up an octave, in Pro Tools, the hotkey for this is just shift and an arrow key, but most DAWs will have a hotkey for this just to figure out what it is for your DAW, and we'll see how that works. So that gets the top voice out of the way of a lot of the melody, but as you can see, there's still this middle voice that's just kind of right on top of more than half of the melody. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this middle line and we're gonna bump that down an octave. See how that helps. So that's created a lot of space, but I don't really know if it sounds good yet. I, I kind of feel like something about it isn't really working. I don't really know what it is exactly. I'm gonna try taking this line that we just moved and I'm gonna bump that one up and then I'm gonna take this top voice and bump that down. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's just keep experimenting a little bit. We're gonna grab this one, which was previously the bottom. We're gonna move that down yet another octave Hear how that sounds. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's try it with these two voices, both up pretty high. That's a pretty rich sound. It fits and it sounds good it might be a little, I don't know, schmaltzy or something. Now if we take this bottom line and bump it up sort of to the middle. I actually think that one sounds the best. I think maybe I like this one best because not only does it get the chords completely out of the way of the melody, as you can see, they're not on top of each other at all, but it also pairs these two lines together and it doesn't have these sort of two parallel um, harmony things that are very close together up on the top. Now, if we go back and listen to what our original string part sounded like just by itself. Versus our new arrangement. Mm -hmm. 
world's different, even though it's literally the same notes, the same exact pitches, just in different octaves. Now, all together in the mix, the old version first. I haven't changed anything in the mix in between these two versions. All I did was change where the notes sit in what octave and it blew the whole thing wide open. Register and having space is so, so important and this is the easiest way that you can create more of it. One super easy way that you can use this dynamically in your track is to use different versions of these voicings in different choruses as you go. For example, maybe your third chorus, you have more voices up high to just give it a little bit more lift and to make your last chorus a lot bigger. If you wanna learn more about writing songs, you're gonna to wanna to check out my 15 hour course, Complete Rock and Metal Songwriting at the link in the description or just head over to howsongsaremade.com. Let me know in the comments section what you want me to cover more of in these tutorial videos, and I'll see you real soon.